What's going on guys? It's me Pavin. And if you guys are looking to improve your Madden game and want to learn firsthand from someone who's made deep runs in the Madden $750,000 club championship tournament, I'm your guy. I recently just dropped my New York Jets offensive ebook and alongside that is my game plan for additional $10. So my offensive ebook is $20, game plan 30, game plan you get a couple defensive setups and I will be updating both these ebooks, both these game plans as the year goes on. Really great offer. The link will be down in the description. Go check it out, 818madden.com. I know this will make you a better Madden player. Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Road to the Classic, a series in where I basically document my Madden Classic process and, you know, break some of my games down, break some of the brackets down. And overall, um, just, you know, this is assessing how well I do in the Madden Classic, a tournament that I really haven't had that much success in so far. Today is episode three, guys, and in today's episode, we are basically going to be going over um, the first stage of single elimination. So today is very late into Saturday. I already know my results. Um, hopefully you guys don't know what's gonna go on so that'll make the video better. But nonetheless, man, let's jump straight into it. If you haven't seen my other two Road to the Classic videos, go check them out. They'll be down below or somewhere on the side right here. And you know, overall, if you are trying to become better at regs or just in general Madden, I do give you guys a lot of insightful stuff on this channel. Please sub, share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's get straight to the video, guys. All right, guys. So I'm um, basically couldn't get a picture of my Xbox bracket before it was obviously updated. Um, but here was my PS4 bracket as a, uh, you know, it, none of these games had occurred at this time when I screenshotted it. Basically, we play Yo Ben first then uh one of these two and then one of these two one of these four excuse me so basically in this video i'm gonna be breaking down my three ps4 games and my three xbox games that i played all single elimination and we're gonna see how we did and if we're moving on to tomorrow aka day two so guys uh here is my first game of the day this is xbox single elimination i'm playing symphonies ain't easy pretty pretty funny gamer tag if you ask me and he is running tight with the Buccaneers as first play, he tries to go deep, and that's actually a huge play. He had some space with Mike Evans. We ran match, and remember that name, and remember his game. Darnell Savage with his first pick of the day. All right, so, you know, after kind of getting back the first two possessions, we decide to go in a bunch tight end. Quick little, you know, drag pass. If you have the ebook, you know exactly what that dot is. And uh, obviously, my opponent is using the Buccaneers, and... You know, with them, if you throw picks or you really get off the field that easy, it can be a problem as Aaron Jones quickly to the right flat. We're already four for four, guys. And right here, guys, running our favorite play, in my opinion, my favorite play, Jet Stick with a slant. And we're going to wait. We're going to sit tight in the pocket and hit Devontae across the middle. That's a red zone throw. That's a 99 overall. And what a way to start off the tournament, guys. It's right here, guys. My opponent is once more in the tight. He's motioning Antonio Brown over. And like I said, this will be a collectiveness of a couple games. As right there, Darnell Savage, number two of the day. And, you know, if we score a couple more times, this game is cooked. And like I said, guys, this is a collectiveness of clips and, you know, little mini plays that happen throughout the game. So this is not going to be full games because if it were to be full games, it'd be potentially six full games. And, you know, those are all important, but really the real deal is you know the real set of games will be coming in the second round of single limb it's right here we're going to be running mesh post with a slant hopefully looking for someone to get open and we're going to have aaron jones on the wheel route great dot man low ball wheel route that play has been there literally for the past three to four maddens it's right here man my opponent has moved the ball a little bit but it is a third and 19 and you know i'll say this a lot of people running this tight kind of formation i don't know what it is with the bucks um, but people love to run this tight formation because I will say I have ran into it a couple times and I ran, played it twice today. It's right here. My opponent is honestly waiting, waiting, waiting to call hike. Sending two, you know, call me a cheeser if you want. But everything is bagged in my opinion. And as you see right here, Darnell Savage, boom, third pick on the day. That's a hat trick in the first half, man, and I'm hyped. We try to make a move happen. Fortunately, our stick isn't there for returning picks. But look at that stat line, three picks on the day. It's right here, guys. Um, I get ball at half. I'm up 14. If we score here, this game is over. We're moving it on and chopping it up to the next game. We look at Devontae once more. That slant is too OP, guys. And right here, man, we're going to be able to punch it in. 
and move on to the second round of the Madden Classic on the Xbox side. As we're right here, Mercedes Lewis, just an easy touchdown, man. GG's a simping ain't easy. Uh, right here, guys, we are playing in our next round uh, someone named T-O-B-G-O-O-B. And I really don't know what that stands for. I don't even want to try pronouncing it. But right there, he is in over G and he is in uh, Las Vegas playbook. I should have shown that, but it is what it is. I'm trying to make these videos nice and uh, fast because, like I said, I had to cover quite a bit of games in this video. It's right here, guys. Running Z spot. Nice little out route. We'll take what you give us, man, any day of the week. You can't really get greedy in these type of games and try to go downfield. If it's open and I got A-Rod and, you know, I don't have any pressure, I'm literally just going to hit that button and get my yards. It's right here. He sends an all-out blitz. I am in bunch tight end. Aaron Jones with the catch. He kind of runs into his guy. And we are all the way down to the 15-yard line. Right here, guys, we run Flood with an option route, a great route combo in regs versus man and a lot of stuff, and he just so happens to leave that guy wide open. Um, he turns his cover three into the left into a cover two, a.k.a. cloud flat, and Kevin King is just, he doesn't have the awareness or the zone to play that for some reason. So on the first play, my opponent ran the ball. Um, like I said, he's in Vegas playbook. I'm not the best versus trips, but I'm definitely getting there. It's right there. He had a slant wide open where Sean Gary says, I got you, Pav. Turning up, doing the robot, whatever you want to call that. I'll take it. And guys, um, remember when I told you look out for Darnell Savage? Well, at last game before this, you know, obviously my opponent kept playing it out. I ended up getting another pick. It's right here. We guard the drag, jump back to the curl, and Darnell Savage, that time it is a walk-in pick six. You got to love it, bro. As Dream would say, hashtag I'm a savage. Right here, man. Um, I'm feeling really good. I'm obviously at 14. And then he hits us with a nice play. Uh, even, uh, even though I have Perry Nickerson, who's four plus speed on Devontae Adams, it doesn't matter. When your routes run fast, they run fast. And, you know, he gets all the way down to the 20. Big play. And I'm kind of hurt a little bit, but, you know, nothing too severe. So right here, guys, um, my opponent, you know, ran a couple of plays, got to a third and four. And, you know, the red zone really is killer this year. And right here, I have a, I wouldn't say a bad user. Because he had both routes. Great play by him. I just so happened to get a nice, nice shed. I possibly should have used um, the running back route for just an extra second. Maybe bounce to the curl. But like I said, Rashawn Gary is a huge playmaker. If you're not playing him in your game, if you have Preston Smith, I recommend swipping, switching them out. It's right here, guys. He's deciding to go for it on fourth and four. And he could he possibly had everyone open. He had a hitch, he had a little running back uh, streak, a tight end corner route. And that play was open, but you know, it just wasn't enough for four yards. And I will gladly take that defensive stop, guys. It's right here, man. We're looking to end this game. We score here. I'm moving it on to the next game, man. Like I said, I got a tight, tight, tight schedule for the video. It's right here. We're just gonna once more hit that table, man. Whatever's given, we take it. Aaron Jones is a goon, and he's gonna juke out two to three players right there. And right here, man. Um, you know, over G, it's really good, but I feel like I have pretty good reps versus it. My opponent just flat out blitzes everyone, leaves Tanyan open. And, you know, I was telling my boys this, like, like it's kind of crazy how good and how well balanced the Packers are. You can't really tell me a position they don't have, you know, whether that be speed or just the overall good players right here. We're, we're pretty much going to get inside the five. And right here, guys, we're just going to run base one more time. I possibly could have taken his last time out. But, you know, when you're at 14, it really doesn't matter. On to game number three. So right here, guys, my opponent for game number three of the Xbox side. Um, if we move, if we win this, we're going on to tomorrow to face off in the round of 64. Uh, his name is Swerving Through. And, you know, I'll make sure to post an update bracket after everything is done and said with this video. But, yeah, man, my opponent is running Seattle playbook. And he's running this, you know, Tory-based offense. If you know who Tory is, um, you know what I'm talking about. He's running a lot of trio, a lot of audibles. And, you know, just trying to catch me off guard. I did play Tory one time. I was planning on uploading that. I still can. As you re see right here, right on cue, he hits me with the RPO bubble. And I wouldn't say I was ready for it, but, you know, Amos sure as hell played it really really well right here guys my opponent decides to sub in tyler Irvin, even though it's third down and you know i went one four six this game just because like i felt like if i thought he was running seattle bunch i thought i could get a couple stops as you see right here he is very scared to pass he just has to run the ball on third and 11 man a huge play on the way right here guys i decide to run a nice blitz 
and I just come in screaming. Great, great defense right there. Will Redmond with the sack. We're in business now, man. Right here, guys. Running jet stick. Easy quick high play. Easy reads. Uh, nice little, you know, hitch right in between the zones for 12 yards. What I like to see on the first play. And right here, guys. I run, decide to run on one trap, and that's that's beautiful, man. He can't really shoot the gap right there, and you know, Aaron Jones into the end zone. Right here, guys. My opponent decides to switch it up, run a little bunch tight end. And, you know, we kind of get some nice pressure, man. And he has to force that out. Um, intentional grounding. Second and 22, man. Right here, guys. My opponent is running bunch. And, you know, just just tell me if there's someone open. I know it was a long situation, but still, he has no one open. And it results in another Rashawn Gary sack. Can you guys see the trend I'm trying to make? Like, where has Zadarius Smith been out all these past couple of games? I haven't really seen him make any plays, in my opinion. And Rashawn Gary is just doing the job. And right here, he's going to throw this out to the flat. And I felt like I could have played a little more aggressive. But, you know, at the end of the day, I will surely take the ball and try to go down and get some more points. Right here, guys, um, I decided to just chuck something up. That was an awful pass. I really don't know why I passed it up. I definitely could have passed it a little bit to the right and it would have been maybe a dot. But, you know, that was just a horrible pass. I don't really know what was going on through my mind. And this was literally the play... Like, I'm talking about the play after huh, I got it. what's it called? I got to stop. And this was my first play back on offense. Right here, guys, my opponent is definitely trying to slow it down. As you see right here, he hits another RPO. And I, I, when, I, when I threw that pick, I'm like, oh, yeah, man. After I saw his first couple plays, I'm like, why did I do that? My opponent is, you know, going to just take the long way and just try to clock me out. You see right here, he runs the ball again. And, you know, that wasn't that many yards. But at the end of the day, if you could get those type of chunk yards... Um, you will surely take it and like like I said it, was, it didn't look like that many yards but it ended up being five Which is kind of wild right here. He runs on one trap and I just missed the gap by a lot And it was at this point. I'm like, you know what? Let's just run man and let's just shoot the gap man He's gonna have to show me he could dot me up So after a you know couple plays of running the ball it results in him being on a third and four We get glitchy pick it off with Kevin King. Um, like I, I've been saying this for a while now I would really wish Kevin King was a safety I know he's slow, like I'm not too slow, but he's on the slower end at 90 speed. But that right there is why he's a dog. Six foot three, he just makes up so much ground and he he just gets glitched animations. I really wish he was a safety and I'm not gonna lie, I would user him. Let me know if you guys would use your Darnell Savage or him, you know. I don't know how many of you guys play regs. Like I said, uh, I've been playing for the classic and honestly, I kinda like this mode now. It kinda grew on me. Right here, my opponent is back in the trio and uh, just a bad user, bad adjustments, great play right there. And he gets 15 off that. I don't know how I feel with that play right there. A little option round for six yards getting 15. But at the end of the day, I can't complain because I didn't play the great defense. So after a couple plays, man, my opponent is actually going on a really long drive. He's kind of just clocking it out. And, you know, he does get ball at half. If he could clock this out and get ball at half, he's in a good spot. But we obviously shoot that zone, inside zone right there. And right here, man, we're trying to send the pressure, hopefully get a scream, hopefully cause some inaccurate passes or just something, man. And, you know, um, my opponent is doing the most, as you guys can see right here. He is just trying to make it as uncomfortable for me as possible. And right here, we do try to get that pressure. Um, and he just, I don't know, guys, was I there? Was I not? Did he get cheated or did I, you know, was I going to pick it off? I don't think I would have picked it off, but... I don't think he would have caught it if like that makes sense. I don't know. It was a really weird play. And you know, to sum up this half, sum up this game, man, my opponent decides to kick it and he just had no chance. I don't know what that was. Play the epic fail music. And right here, man, we're looking for seven. We're looking for the game. If we could get seven here, this is game. It's right here. We're gonna throw mesh over the top of Jair. Amos can't get there, and we decide to fall down. But we're going to score seven. As you see right here, guys, Mercedes Lewis is going to fall forward and fight for your boy. And there it is, man. Three Xbox Ws. Let's move on to the PS4 side. GG's to all my opponents. I'll make sure to show you guys the bracket then. Get them some recognition. All outstanding guys. You know, no one had a problem with, you know, the matchmaking and all that. So, like I said, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys. So, this bracket is too big to look at all the names. But... You know, if you want this link, I can link it in the bio below. And when I mean bio, I mean description, guys. But um, here we go. Here is how I did on the Xbox side. 
Pa 5-3-0, Pa 5-3-0, Pa 5-3-0, Pa 5-3-0, Pa 5-3-0, three dubs. And, you know, um, really, this all this doesn't matter. Basically, um, we're going to be playing this guy named Diggs 2663 tomorrow. Hopefully, he's not, you know, that good for my sake. Um, I heard he was decent. He runs trips. He actually did beat K-Mac right here. I know you could barely see it, but, yeah, there is that. Uh, let me see. There we go. Now you guys could probably see it better. If we win that game, we're going to have to go up here and play Golden or BK. I'm not too sure who BK is. Obviously, we know who Golden is, Golden Glover. If we win that game, we're going to go all the way up here and maybe possibly play one of the four goons that we see here. Um, Kiv, Ish, JS the Best, or Lil Man. And, you know, I know I'm looking really far along the lines, but if I were to win that game as well, um, we were going to go all the way down here. And this basically locks up our spot in the final four and, you know, we'll be on the stream. It's probably going to be, um, I don't even know, man, probably Drini. Uh, there's so many people to even name. So, you know, we'll just wait till that happens, guys. So that taken care of, let's just go back to the PS4 gameplay. Um, this is my first round game versus Yo Ben. Basically, man, if we win this, we're obviously in the round two and then round three. Same same format, same thing as the uh, Xbox side is right here. We're going to throw another table route, and we love our table routes. We're cooking up, man. We're already in the red zone right here. We're going to throw this outside pass. They juke up, and we can't get in the end zone, but we are to the two-yard line, five for five early. So my opponent actually does stop me two times in the red zone, a.k.a. the goal line, and, you know, he does it once more. He just clicks on, hit sticks us. And, you know, that's the one thing. Guys, you know, these guys can't really, aren't that good on defense. But anyone could be good with a goal line defense. It's right here. It's fourth and goal. This is actually a huge play. I was asking my friends, what should I do? And you know what I decided to do? Do what I do best. I decided to just cook one up and just throw a hot dot, guys. And that definitely takes off a lot of pressure. It's right there. Speaking of pressure. We come in screaming early. And right here, man, we get crazy with Darnell Savage, and that's just too easy for us, man. Um, A-Rod's release is so, like, towards the ground that it's really easy to bait and pick off, even with someone as tall as 5'11", you know, Darnell Savage. And, you know, um, this video, if it wasn't named Road of the Classic Episode 3, could honestly be Darnell Savage Reg's highlights, because I go crazy. I think I have, like, six picks in, like, three, four games with them, maybe seven even. It's right here. We're going to run PA shot, PA boot over, excuse me, Tanya into the 20 yard line. And right here, guys, we're going to run the ball, it looks like. Um, just try to see and test his run D. That was kind of bad stick, poor stick. I kind of ran into him. And right here, guys, we're going to run power O. It was literally that easy, guys. Sometimes um, when these guys have good fullback dive, quarterback sneak, defense, you just, you just run power O and it's extremely hard to stop. Um, Christian Kirksey just can't catch up to Aaron Jones. And, you know, what a great start, guys. He's right here, guys. My opponent was running Seattle Bunch. And I thought Darnell was going to get another one, man. Right here, man. We run a little match. And he just... There, there goes Zadarius finally. He just had no one open right there. And right here, man. Sending a nice little blitz setup. He sends out five out. And easy, easy pressure for us. As you see right here, guys. I'm setting my zone drops. So we basically just... Don't give up the first by any means right here, and we still are able to play good defense. As you see right here, guys, running double Mabel. Got 25 flats, 25, uh, 25 flats, 10 purples. And for some reason, guys, if you guys want to rewind that, I think my purple matched on the inside, leaving someone wide open. But Kenny Clark came in at the right time, and he's going to punt us the ball. This game is pretty much chalked up. As you see, man, we have Gambler on A-Rod, and we just take a couple steps to the left. Pass lead that baby. To the left, and you know, just another great thought, man. 10 for 10. Decide to freestyle one up, boys. Um, you know, steal it if you want. It's a decent route combo. Basically, I uh, just hit this wheel route to the running back, and you know, I could have probably kept on going in the inside, but we will take those yards. And honestly, any points here is pretty much gonna ice the game, but we definitely want seven. Unfortunately, we're not able to. We're gonna go ahead and kick three. And right here, guys, uh, this is just going to ice up the game, man. Jair goes crazy. Acrobat, that looked like 91 zone. If you played Madden 18, man, that looked like 91 zone. Game one in the books, GG's and yo bet. All right, guys, this is game two. We're playing Loaded Clips. And yes, man, he is using the Cardinals. This guy definitely wasn't bad at all. Um, and, you know, he was, he had me shook. It's right here. He gets instant pressure. I have good pockets, step up and get a first down. Good stuff, A-Rod. He's right here, man. We're going to run boot over. 
and we get this nice once more quick little drag out uh slant out whatever you want to call it i ran it earlier once again run it more i recommend you guys run that setup it's highly effective it's right here man we're running base and he really bags it so it is going to be a third and two guys and we go into bunch tight end looking for Devonte, and he leaves it for some reason we don't get a good rack, but it doesn't matter. 99 overall to do what 99 overall should do. He spikes that football with authority. So right here, guys, moment of truth. This is why he uses the Cardinals. He has a nice glitchy scheme. And right here, I could have picked that off. I do get lucky. Kyler Murray is not a high overall for some reason. Um, you know, I don't even know what overall he is. But, you know, he does have escape artists. And my opponent is running a very effective scheme with escape artists. Unfortunately for him, he just does not have a gunslinger on Kyler Murray. And, uh, you know, that's that's balanced, I feel like. It's right here. He's running another three-route route combo. And we got this in a bag. Once more, another three-route route combo. And um, we just, we should pick this off, guys. But we're not able to, man. So on this fourth down, man, I'm leaving those team flats on the field. Um, they really do well. There's like stock stuff. It's right here. Delay fade. Oh my goodness. Uh, I just the body is to bot route combos. A post, a slant, a streak, and a delay fade. And I wasn't ready for it, man. So my opponent was definitely making me a little mad in the beginning. Is right here. He's gonna run another, another delay fade. And that was just good zone drop defense. Yet he's able to make that read right there. It's right here once more running double Mabel defense got 25s and 10s and then I do have a spy just in case it's right here he does have Rico Gafford who if you watch the Raiders you know the Raiders that dude is a speed demon and right here man another delay shade and I should have used her that except he low balls him Kenny Clark is absolute I'm faster than Kenny Clark so right here guys um like I said notice where his alignment is and then he audibles inside so if that receiver and trips is ever on the inside, they are running an RPO, and boom, we were all over. We had a hard flat, and we passed him it, and he just jumped outside. Really, really good stuff. And right here, guys, um, we held him the three, and I love it, and, you know, that just sums up the game right there, man. My opponent just all-out blitzes, and he just runs down with his user. I was contemplating going down here, but there's no point. And, you know, um, you know, it was very early, but like I said, that summed it up, man. My opponent really couldn't fight back. GG's a loaded clips. We're going to move on to game three, man. And I know this is a pretty long video, but hopefully you guys are enjoying every bit of it. All right, guys, the final game to move on to, you know, a perfect record. And not only that, just to go on to the next day. Um, both consoles have two lives, basically, in a sense. Um, we are playing Soul Crusher 96. And, you know, it's funny. We played this guy in Road to the Classic episode number one. On the ladder so i know what already what he's gonna do we end up winning that game big and you know i'm very confident um i had a chance at playing deliverance who is always a tough game man he runs uh just, just he's very stingy and you know uh, i'd rather play this guy than deliverance to say the least so when i saw he won i was kind of like oh yeah man let's go let's get this done you see right here guys another table route to aaron jones three for three early with it I'm right here guys another table route to aaron jones and he fights for the first down um like i said man if they give you those flats you have to take them man they add up and then they just open up the big play it's so easy and you know if you guys aren't good at or you know even decent at throwing flats you guys have to turn up with those it's right here he's trying to use the rushes we hit cave on and we can't get a juke um i definitely think that should have been a juke right there but that's fine man it's right here man my opponent held me up pretty well and i could have passed this up at any point to r1 but we decided to go to the safer option and came on him across the middle he got caught on two and that was very very bad for him and you know that sucks getting caught on a d-line but for me that is great so earlier i said you know we we're playing a lot of bucks and they were running tight and you know this guy is no exception this is actually the guy i was talking about um and i'm very familiar on what he wants to do is right here he sends out all his routes Playmakers, I felt like I could have gone gone savage with savage right there, but we're good, man. We're good. Uh, you know, first drive, let's not give him too too much. It's right here, man. My opponent actually switches it up. Very great call. And I'll tell you what, in the Madden qualifiers, um, you know, the, those ladders, he was not running that run, and I was definitely a little shocked to see that. So you know, I'll, like I said, man, people make adjustments. So right here, man, he is on a second and goal. He decided to run goal line on the first play. Really nothing there. And he's going to have this corner out, man. My match zones don't match. 
Let's get blessed, man. Whew, that was very, very lucky for me, and I will take that, man. And right here, man, we decided to switch it up to a cover two. He still decides to go back to it, and maybe he low-key had it. I don't know, man. Um, He doesn't have great uh, Rodgers with that release, but, you know, he does have those hot round master plays. Man, honestly, like I said, if I score here, I love my chances to win. I know it's super early, but here we hit Tavon, and like I said, he wasn't getting any jukes for us. That's right here, man. We're looking for a famous, not famous, but a really good play that we love to call a lot. Once more, Jets dig with a slant. Extremely difficult to defend, especially when you're sitting in stock coverage. And once more, man, going back to this play, we kind of let a little time to di drip off, and that's fine. And he actually plays really great defense right there, man. Pops to him. So right here, man, another play. We decide to go back to the same thing. Pass the flat up. We can't get the first on it. It is going to be a fourth and inches dicey play call right here. It's right here. My opponent actually doesn't flip with us, and we have the left side of the field, only two zones there. And, you know, that's just too easy. Devontae, man, 99 overall. It's right here, man. After a couple good plays on defense, it's a third and 11 already. And we're sending two, man. Uh, a quick thing, like Bucks, they don't have a fast QB, so you can really send two, man, and you will get some pressure eventually. And, you know, the thing is, they can't really run away from you, with, whereas with Rodgers, you actually can. It's right here. Everything bagged up, man. He's going to try to hit a broken play, bounce back play. And for some reason, he throws it to our user, Savage. How many is that, guys? Count it up for me. Um, and I'm sure I missed a couple in there. I think that's six or seven picks without throughout the games, man. And yeah, that, that dude right there is a problem. He's right here, guys. Running Jets dig once more. Um, great defense by him on the left side, but the right side was wide open. And we truck with Devontae and leads to a touchdown. That's gonna you know that's gonna chalk up this game. Really two, three possession leads and regs. Very hard to fold, man. And you know, it feels good. We're gonna be moving on tomorrow, man. So guys, here we go. We played Ben, we got the dub. Loaded Clips got the dub. Soul Crusher got the dub. And you know, next we're gonna play I Talk Trash, who I'm gonna try to ask around and you know who he is, what he runs. I don't know too much about him, but he has a decent you know, little gamer tag with a little uh, frowny face or whatever. So he may be decent, we don't know. And then after that, man, it's looking like Sprint 42 or Emmanuel. Um, I don't know who. Uh, I know Sprint is, but I really don't know who Emmanuel is. I'm definitely going to get some looks and see what's going on, man. And then if we were to win that, we were probably going to match up with Noah, man, or even Space Jam. Space Jam has been playing really good football. So that's a definitely tough game that we can get. And, you know, after that, it would be round four. We would be looking at, you know, whether it be that boy, whether it be uh, Pax to Raw, Zay Brown. Who else is on this list? Let's see. Uh, Golden Glover once again possibly so you know that's what it's looking like right here for this guy uh, for these kind of opponents right here but we shall see what's happening man you never know uh, quite a bit of players hopefully man wish me luck man um, hopefully we could dub up man I'll catch you guys soon Road of the Classic episode 4 on the way guaranteed with some hell games um, and I'm ready to go for tomorrow man hype me up guys hype me up